give Mississippi State a lot of credit. They came into a great environment. Hats off to our fans, the students. They out toughed us from the start. I mean, I had to call timeouts early, trying to coach effort in a rivalry game in front of a sold out arena, and that's inexcusable. And that's what I was trying to do. And uh, so it just lasted. We, we did some things, had a chance to win the game, but eventually toughed this one out. 50 50 balls, 19 to 8 down. Uh, we couldn't keep them off the offensive boards, which is pretty obvious to all the fans and you guys who were covering the game. And uh, so that's just kind of what it was. Great environment. And uh, they just, you know, obviously the, the freshman, Reggie Perry, was like a man among boys, front line. Uh, our, both of our centers, Bruce and Dom, played 40 minutes combined, no defensive rebounds. It's almost impossible. Uh, Lake Henson not rebounding the ball. And uh, so just, they, they made a lot of good plays. So give Mississippi State a lot of credit. Yeah, they, you talked about y'all earlier this week about y'all's decision making not always being at the level it needs to be. Do you think some of those possessions down the stretch were reflective of that? Uh, Q made a great steal on, on a dribble hammer play. He smelt it out, and I thought it was a good play by him that, that there. And uh, you know, so I mean, they have more turnovers than we do, and uh, so that our decision making at times not great, but that that wasn't the, the reason for the loss at all. Kermit, did you think they were more intent on defending the post than they were the first game? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, they were they were switching and putting their perimeter guys on it. So they were, they were doing that to, but obviously they didn't have any respect for our post. We are putting guards down there. We couldn't take advantage of it. Finally, we did with Bruce, you know, and uh, and then they kind of stopped switching. You know, we was a one possession game. We got the ball right into Bruce, you know, on a set play at about three feet. And we watched the tape and see what happened, you know. But I thought it looked made, like made a strong move. You know, at the end of the day, they shoot 28 free throws. We shoot 14. They're the most aggressive team, went to the line more, and that was kind of the, that's kind of the game. What do, you, what do you attribute the lack of aggressiveness to? Is it, is it some declining lack confidence? Or? Oh, no. No, not confidence. How does confidence affect effort? How does confidence ever affect effort? I mean, no, no way that would ever happen. At least I've never been on a team where confidence affected effort. I mean, it may, may affect shooting, may affect playmaking, but... Uh, I mean, come on now, we're leading them in the SEC standings going in this game. So, I mean, it just I just thought they came right in and hit us right in the mouth. We couldn't keep them off the offensive boards, and that was the game. What weren't you getting from Dom today that maybe he has given we you rebound the ball. We wouldn't pursue balls. This was just late to everything, you know. And then, you know, and we, Bruce came in and thought did some pretty good things, you know. But Bruce can only play about two minutes. He always has to come out. And so it's frustrating at times, but that's just kind of where we are right now. That's where we are. But Don's made a lot of progress, but he didn't show it today. KJ started in place of Blake, gets four rebounds, second to TD. But other than that, really struggled on that end. What, what yeah, was it? yeah. Couldn't well, you know, stack another good game. Well, he's you know he's struggled with their length. He got KJ's got to understand. I mean, he, you can't just flail away in this league off one feet and expect flop, expect somebody to give you a call. I mean, it, it is a big boy league, and you got to get in on two feet, and you got to shot fake, and at times make others better. And so their length and their physicality bothered him early, you know. Uh, you know, I just thought Blake needed a new change of senior to come off the bench. And uh, he, he had some moments, but he just he couldn't rebound the ball. He couldn't rebound it. And so he got one rebound in 27 minutes. You kind of avoided talking about the freshman wall, especially with Blake. Or just, but these last few games, I mean, the last two weeks since the game in Starkville have been really rough for him. Yeah, and so I've, I've got <laughs> – I think that's the biggest forest in all of athletics, a freshman wall. I've said that before. I'm not, I'm not trying to embarrass you at all. I, I've, I've said it from day one. I mean, Reggie Perry, he's not hit a freshman wall. Just talent and toughness is what it is. That, that allows guys to hit, well, I guess, a so-called wall. I, I, don't, I don't agree with that at all. It's not at all. We, I mean, these guys 18 years old. We manage their bodies. I mean, and they're pampered to the utmost degree in college basketball with all the different things they get for treatment and recovery and days off and all the different things. So it's not about a freshman wall. You know, I, I don't think, I may be, be wrong, that's just my, my opinion with it. I just thought that the toughest part today, I mean, you know, two or three weeks ago, I mean, obviously Blake made shots. You know, just made shots. And so, again, I'm not trying to blame it on Blake. Blake's going to be a great player here. But can you... Are you one-dimensional? Can you affect the game by doing other things? You know. So, and today Reggie Perry, he came out. He's only made one three, and he made some unbelievable, made some big-time threes. You know, and I'm sure Ben was going, "Whoa!" when he made them. You know, and so he probably made one, I think, going into the game. 